Hey, hey, good evening. Hello, hello, I am here. I'm like a minute early, but um, that's how I roll. A little early is it's a good thing, I think. Hope you guys are ready. I am just waiting for a couple of people to come on and um, I will get started. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Hope you're ready. I have a lot of energy. Christy! Hey, thank you for inviting me to come and share tonight. Loved your message. It was very sweet. And I'm here for you. Let's do this. All right. Well, I got to wait one more minute until it is six o'clock on the hour here in Southern California. So let me give a quick little intro. My name is Wendy Heath Newgast, and I'm a superstar director out of Southern California. My team name, hi Trace, hi Laura, hi Lou. Um, my team name is OC Sense Family A Team. I live in Orange County, California, and I am just honored that um, your beautiful leader, Christy, asked me to share. And um, is the volume good before I actually get into this? How's the volume? Can you guys hear me? And then I'm going to get rolling. Oh, at the end, I'm going to share docs. So if you're watching this live in the group I'm training in, or if you're watching this via my YouTube channel, the docs are going to be in the comment of this for the live. Okay. It's going to be in the post that I share all of the documents, and I'm going to put them in the description of my YouTube channel. So I'm ready to share. Sound is good. Oh my gosh. Okay. All of this energy and no caffeine. I know, right? And I'm like super old. But anyway, <laughs> you know what? You got to laugh at yourself. I'm actually going to be 59. I know. 59 at reunion. So if you're there at SFR, come say hi and uh, just pretend that I'm turning 29. Okay, so let's get started. It is 6.01 and I am ready to roll. Tag your teamies, get them on here, interact with me. I promise I'll answer questions or anything at the end. I'm going to share things, so be ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are into 2023. It's a new year. We're embracing ourselves on this brand new catalog that's coming. So excited. But we can work our business today, right now, and I'm going to teach you some five ways to work smarter and not harder in your business. We're going to work intentionally. What we're going to do is we're going to clear our mind of the last two years clutter and Oh my God, I wasn't ready for this. Um, if you're struggling or suffering for something, I'm so sorry. It's been a rough ride and we are in a really crazy time of our business and in, in your mindset is what's going to propel you or to hold you back. So let's talk about propelling forward in this business without having to work 24 hours a day because nobody has time for that. I'm coming five more minutes. Oh, okay, Roxy. Hit the replay. Okay. So anyway, so let's clear our mind. Let's clear our clutter. What does your current environment around you look like? Ooh, right? I know. It is really hard to work and be intentional in your business when you have clutter. Because when you sit down, you know this as a, as a mom and as a leader and as a friend and as anyone, when you see the clutter around you, you kind of get anxious and you're like, oh, I need to go do that. So when I'm talking about working smarter, not harder in your business, we are going to clear our minds. We're going to have belief in our hearts that we can do it. And we're just going to make some big steps and some big strides this year. I hope some of these systems I'm going to share help you out as well. So let's get started. Five ways to work smarter, not harder. First and foremost, I know this is really crazy to say, but you got to know your goals. Your goals. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your wishes? You can't say, well, my goal is to become a director. Okay, that's a great goal. That's a great goal. But you need to take the action steps to get there. So what would that mean? How big is your team? Maybe you need to sponsor. Maybe you need to get out more. Maybe you need to start partying. Oh, home parties, office parties, 
fragrance flower parties, fundraisers, events, to get new people really good when you get out there. Your excitement is going to share. Sure, we can do things online, but we don't have to anymore. Online is a privilege right now. If that's something you can do, maybe you've got a new team in another state and you have to do an online party. But if you can get in person with your people, your goals and your dreams are going to grow huge. That I can guarantee because we don't have smell-o-vision here, right? If I'm smelling a bar of wax, I don't even have one in front of me right now. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I just looked down. Um, you smell a bar of wax and I can describe it to you, but when you actually experience our products, there's nothing like that. So we've got to take these action steps that really help us reach our goals. Goals are great, but if you don't go, let's talk about this. I know, let's say Christy. Christy needs hypothetically $600 a month to help her family, to pay for the car, pay for the kids' school, whatever that is. You need $600 a month. That's what your, your goals be. My goal is to make $600 a month with Sensi. Well, you know, without a team, all you need to really do is do $2,000. So now in a month, and you get $600 with that bonus without having a team. That's a great goal. I tell most of my people, $2,000 a month, two new teamies a month, that is how I live. I actually do at least $2,500 a month because I work living the annual life. I go for annual sales and I always work for annual mentor. I try for both. So we got to get these action steps. So you're like, I need $600 a month. I got to do 2000. How many parties is that? A lot. It's a lot of parties or maybe one good one, right? One good office party right before Valentine's Day. If you got stock on hand. If not, you want to go in ahead of time. Office parties are my favorite. But you got to take these action steps to work your business. So I go back to the basics. I'm going to kiss it. I'm going to keep it super simple, though. Because when we work all these things out and overcomplicate our life and clutter gets in our brain, things stop. You shut down. You're overwhelmed. Tiny little steps. Let's go back to working the three basics. My friend Jen Odette, love her, just really talked about this at um, leadership in Cancun a couple weeks ago. It's really going back to working the basics. Buy, host, and join. That's it. With systems in place. You can't forget that. So if we intentionally work our business that way, you're going to know. So the first thing is to know your goals, set your goals, and take action steps to make them happen. You can't do $2,000 a month without having parties unless you get a really, really good, um, last show might have helped you this month, but unless you have a really good party that's working or some online links that are working, whatever it is, figure out the best way. If you know every time you do a party, you do $500, that's four parties a month for you to hit your 2K, for you to get that $600 check, and bam, you just Oh my God, I'm sorry. It's Chinese New Year the last few days and people are doing fireworks around my house. So, and I'm kind of close to Disneyland. So if you hear that, that's where it's at. Sorry guys, back to basics. That's it. We have to go back to the things that made us who we are today, made Sensi who it is today. It all started with a home party. We're a direct sales company. We have to party, no doubt. Whether it's online, basket parties, flower parties, events, fundraisers, you know, I do them all. I just don't do a lot of online parties. In all transparency, I did it during COVID, but I, I didn't like it. I need to be in front of people. I need them to feel my excitement about my product. Who's better than sharing it and letting them experience it, right? All you need is a nose. Be able to smell the Scentsy products and the rest changes for history. So know your goals, break them down, do it this year. Let's make this be your year. Number two, work your business like a business. Even if you're, if you're part-time, when you're working, you should be working intentionally, right? You are the CEO of your business. You're a CEO. Yes, you are. You're a Sensi Independent Consultant. It's up to you and you and your team, but what you do and what you believe and the things that you do daily is what's going to make the difference of your business. Make the difference of you promoting. Make the difference of 
all things that give you greatness with Scentsy, whatever your greatness may be. I want to earn all the trips. I want to hit annual sales and annual mentor. Those are my goals. What are yours? Write them down. Put them on the mirror in the bathroom. Hold a mirror up to yourself and tell yourself what those goals are. The more you believe it, the more it'll come true. But you got to do the work. I'm going to share with you some systems and some 15-minute business tips. It's not easy. But when you work it, truly work your business, you can do it. Oh, so important. Right, Christy? Make sure I didn't miss any comments. So number one, know your goals and break them down into action steps. How am I going to get there? How many parties do I need to book? Right? Number two, work your business, lack of business. You are the CEO. Maybe you need to set some office hours. Maybe that's something you need to do. Maybe you need to set times that when you really work. If you've got kids and you've got little ones or you work full time, I'm telling you, if you work 15 intentional minutes into little blocks, buy, host, join, follow up, all during the day, but you sat down for 15 minutes each time and really worked. It's very easy, and I'm a victim of it too, to get caught up on TikTok videos. Oh, and I'm trying to do all the dances. Yeah, it is, it is crazy. You can sit and scroll through social media. I don't know what to tell you. If you could scroll through social media, that's great. Sometimes you've got to have that connection time, but you could get lost for hours. Maybe you're like, I need to look 15 minutes and follow my people on my team, see what they're doing. But set a timer, 15 intentional minutes for your business all throughout the day. Maybe you could do it every hour, every hour that you're available in your office hour. Because you could spend six hours spinning your wheels, doing all these things, but not doing anything that's intentional for your business. Yes, 15 minutes. Yep. So say, Angela, you work full time. And so you're like, ooh, I got 15 minutes in the morning. Right? You could get on your project broadcast or in your VIP group, however that looks, minus through project broadcast, and you could share some information and really reach out to the people and take some good pictures of some products around your home. So then the next day or the next 15 minutes that day, maybe you're sharing those items, right? And then the next time you're like, ooh, I need to do follow up. I had some great orders from the flash sale. So the next 15 minutes, maybe it's your lunch. Maybe it's sitting in the pickup line from the kids. You have to be intentional with this business because we could work 24 hours a day and not get anything done. I'm not saying this business only is 15 minutes. I'm just saying every time you sit down in these 15 minute blocks, it doesn't sound so overwhelming, does it? Total doable, that's right. Okay, um, intentional, super intentional. Um, and yeah, TikTok's fun. I do learn a lot of things on there. I even have a TikTok. I know, I know, I know, I know. So number three, focus on IPAs. You should know what that's about because Christy does a great job of sharing and caring in her group. I've been scrolling through the last couple of days and I'm very impressed with you, Christy. You're a great leader and I just wanted to make sure you knew that. So focus on your IPAs. You're like, hmm, what's an IPA? Oh, I can make samples today. <laughs> My friends, samples are good, samples are great, but if you just spend hours making samples and dip in wax and don't hand them out and, or don't put them in the mail, better yet, hand them out, put them in the mail and don't follow up, that is not an income producing activity. What you're doing is you're just wasting money. IPAs are life in this business. You can make samples, only if you mail them and you follow up. Write down a list. Don't mail out 50 at once. Mail out five or 10, knowing you can follow up in a week's time and say, Mary, what did you think of those washer lifts? How did, I told you to wash your towels or your sheets. What was it like when you climbed into bed that night from washing and changing your sheets? That's your follow up. Ask how they felt about the product. What was their experience? What was it like when their friends came over or their husband walked in or it didn't smell like stinky dogs or a cat box? You need to ask them about the experience. That is part of your income producing activity, right? You do the samples and you follow up with intention. 
Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, so here's a little Instagram hack. I keep samples in my purse at all times. I do. Um, kind of sad because <laughs> soap is going away. Um, that's one of my favorite samples because in California it gets hot and wax is hard to have in your purse and stuff or with you in your bag. So wash a whisk from my gateway now. Let's say I'm in Target and I'm in the laundry aisle and I see somebody buying some downy. I have no problem with handing them my sample and saying, look, I just... You know, care, of course, be careful in an organization. You can even wait till they walk outside and say, I just want you to try this and you can compare it to your Downy Unstoppables or whatever they're called. I think that's what they're called. Um, scent circles everywhere too. Scent circles, Roxy, are great, especially for leaving tips. Super cute in a restaurant or through the Starbucks line. I don't do coffee, but if I did. Um, anyway, so now I'm at Target and I'm handing somebody this washer with sample, right? I'm not gonna hand somebody a sample unless I get their information. Okay, I'm gonna make it really simple. Maybe you already know this trick, but if you do not, I'm here to share with you, this is what I do when I meet people. There's two things. This is the first one. Here is my Instagram account, right? See my Instagram? Okay, if I could touch this. So you see, I'm on my, um, I went to my home screen, right here, I'm on my home screen, right? And now I'm gonna push this, it's really hard to do this backwards. I'm going to push these little three lines right here. Do you see that right there? Click on QR code. Bam! Right there. See? If I went like this. Oh, I got a sample for you. Hold on one sec. Boom, boom. Okay, I hit my little three lines. QR code. Follow me so I can follow up with you and ask you what you think about that sample. What? I know. Got me so mind blown. Seriously. It's that simple to follow someone. Then you genuinely, authentically watch their life, share as they're watching your life through Instagram. This is the way we connect. It's not like, get your sample, wanna buy it? Tell me about your experience. Our business is experience driven. Oh, do you like that? But anyway, I hope that really helps one more time. So, when you wanna have someone follow you fast, you're on your profile, so that's that, oh, sorry. That's that little button right there, okay? From there, you go to the top three lines. Oh, it worked that time at the top. And then you click on QR code. Gosh, I missed it. Sorry, it's hard to do this. And that's what you're gonna have. And people can follow you that fast. Now, when you get home, your thing is to go back and follow up with them and, and, and start commenting and liking building a relationship. Then in two days later or three days, inbox them and say, did you try the lobster whips? Dying to know what you think of them. They're really my favorite. Boom. Christy, super happy I helped you. The other thing I do, you guys are thinking I'm silly. Look how my phone is set up. These are like rotating pictures. This is the QR code that I made from a company called Flow Code online and it goes right to my phone number. If you scan that right now, it's gonna ring my phone and I'm gonna hit stop and then I'm gonna say, oh, let me have your name. So I type that because they scanned this right here, scanned it and my phone rang, I hit end. I said, give me your name and your email. Now I've got their name, phone number and email. Boop, that easy. I created that texting code through a company called Flow Code, and you can use it free. But I just want you to know how to connect with people fast, because in this business, when we're out shopping, things happen quick, right? Okay, goodness, I'm chatting so much. Um, so focus on the IPAs. What's another income-producing activity? You can do a booking blitz right now, today. It's the end of January. Are you booked for February? Do a booking blitz for yourself. Set down those 15 intentional minutes, write a script, get ready to send it to some people. It could say something like this. Hey guys, I'm looking, February is a 10% off month, and I'm looking to book some parties for February. Would you be interested? It could be any type of party you like. Shopping links, basket parties, just say yes and I'll follow up with you. That is my booking blitz, script to a T. Hope that helps. Um, Okay, before choosing an activity, what you're gonna do for your, your number three, focusing on your IPAs, say to yourself, does this get me closer to my goal before you do it? Hmm. 
making samples and not doing anything with it, does that get you closer to your goal? No, you've got to do the later part of it too. Um, is this the best use of my time? I have 15 minutes. Maybe I could rally up some new team members or follow up with that lady from the party last week that thought she might be interested in the business. That would be a good thing because that's going to get you closer to your goal. Um, does this really, what I'm doing, does it honor my business mission? Is this something that I want? That's what you look at before you do those IPAs. Number four, set up streamline systems. I'm going to share with you three of the systems that are what I use every single day and um, only do systems that work for you. So if what I'm going to share with you and you look and you're like, I'll never do that, then don't do that. It's your systems. And I am going to also share a document that tells you how to create systems. So this is the document. It's called Create Your Systems. I'm actually sharing this at World Tour, but I'm giving you a little sneak peek now. <laughs> it says your planning system will be unique to your business. Decide on what tools, what apps, and use the following questions to help you create your own system. Oh, so here's a thing that will help me create a system. Yes, indeed, it most certainly will. So like number one, list the tools and applications that you have that help you stay on top of things. That's number one. Number two, identify your digital inbox or your physical inbox. Are you going to do a planner or are you going to have a digital file? Actually, I've got to be honest with you and transparent, I'm doing a little bit of both right now. I've got these other docs, but I did switch over so I could see my digital calendar was super helpful and um, some of the other digital files that I use, but these are my paper ones that I'm sharing with you right now. I do a little of both. I kind of need to see it. Maybe I'm old school. I need to see it written down. <laughs> Works for me. Do you. You do you, boo. That's all I'm asking. So it talks about identifying where your importance, your appointments and meetings are scheduled. So whether it's a calendar application or a planner or you use things like Calendly, I do use that when I do my um, connection calls with my team. I use an app called Calendly and that's really helpful. Um, number four, anyway, it goes through a whole list of how you can create your own system and I'm going to share that. The action step says set up planning your systems that you determine by looking at number two to six. It's on this paper. Create a daily schedule routine for checking your systems regularly. Hmm. A system. It's going to simplify your life, make you a better leader, a better person, and a better Sensi consultant. 100%. So the last thing is schedule um, into your calendar weekly or daily of when you're going to go through your inboxes. It's got to be a thing. i got to share with you guys really quick. The best thing I did this year since January 1st is I went through all my emails from shopping online all month, buying gifts for everybody. Um, I went through and I unsubscribed to a bunch of emails. Guys, I used to spend every morning looking and swiping emails. It was a waste of 15 minutes. Now I've got an intentional 15 minutes instead of wasting my time. Clutter, get rid of it. Get rid of it so you can move forward in your business and in your life. Okay, Whew. so streamline systems. The four I'm going to share with you is my follow-up, my pre-orders, my dream team. I'm going to share those three. And then number four... The other system I do is every morning when I wake up, I look at my daily tracking log, and that's a form. You can even get in the Sensi Planner. It's not a big deal, but to me, I want to know where I'm at, where it was yesterday, what if my numbers moved from the day before, where I'm at today, where I need to focus. As a superstar director, I look down and I see, do I need to focus on my leaders? Do I need to focus on my business? Have I hit my goals? Most importantly, our business always comes first. Okay, you do the same. Yeah, that tracking log's huge. Number five, develop a mindset hmm. of hitting your goal. It's right here, guys. You don't believe that you can do it? You're never going to do it. you got to say, gosh darn it, this is going to be my year. Wendy Heath Newgast said, I need a mindset. And that mindset has got to be positive. So maybe when you're in a little mm, rough spot of the day, that's not a good time to pull that 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes, you may do that 10 times a day. Doesn't matter. 
what you need in your business, where you want to go, and how much time you have. But instead of jumping on and looking at those TikTok videos, you're going to work your business. If you want things, you got to work. This is not easy. I work every single day. I'm still out doing parties and events and all the things like you do. I'm not the superstar director that puts in $500 a month and says, calls it a day. I do live trainings and meetings and things here. Follow up just like you. So take it from me. Follow up, pre-orders, dream team list, and my activity log are where it is in my heart right now, okay? So develop your mind stuff set and stop procrastinating. <sighs> I can't do this, you know? I'll wait till tomorrow, no. Do it starting tomorrow. We're going to start all of this. Look, I don't mean to point my finger, but ooh, I feel it. We do that. Overcome your fear. What are you afraid of? Someone's going to say no. No is okay. It's going to get you to your next yes. Go for those no's. It's okay. You know, go back to your why. Why are you doing this business? That's always what propels me. Every single time when I go back to my why, that's always, it just makes me want to try harder. Yeah, it does. It does. Overcome your fears. There's no fear in this business. You can face everything and run or face everything and rise. This is the year we rise, my friend. We are going to rise. Are you with me? Let's do this. Um, don't let that fear ruin your thoughts because that negativity, stop it. When you start a negative feeling or you start, stop, meditate, look at nature, go for a walk, and change that negative mindset. Some of you have had some really bad things I'm sure happened to you in your life. Hey, me too. I'm a cancer survivor. You know, my mom died in my arms. Cancer, seven years ago. Take care of my dad every day. Most of you don't even know that. I run two jobs and two homes. So don't tell me you don't have time. We're all busy. It's intentional working. Those 15 minute blocks all throughout the day. Maybe you've got 30 minutes and you can work on buy and join. Maybe you could do follow up and work on sponsoring your next teamy. Whatever it is, I just want you to be intentional. Um, number five. Whether you're an introvert, an extrovert, you're in a small town, you're in a big city, you work full time or you don't, there's always excuses. There's no time. Rip that band-aid off. Own who you are and rock it because I believe in you. It's time you start believing in yourself. All right, let me show you these couple little systems. So we're going to go back to the five ways to work smarter, not harder. Clear your mind. It's a new year. Clean, purge, declutter. I promise it's going to be worth it. So the five ways, know your goals and break them into action steps. Work your business like a business. You're the CEO of your business. Number two, always work intentionally too. 15 minute blocks, not just 15 minutes a day. Hello? No, I'm just saying 15 minutes because sometimes that's all the time we can squeeze out of an hour or a time. Work it. Number three, focus on the IPAs. Give yourself a booking blitz. Do things that work. Before you choose an activity, determine whether it's good or not, and it's gonna give, bring, it's gonna work towards your mission and towards your goals. Number four, streamline systems. Mm. The, go back to the four S's. This is what it takes with Sensi. We share, we sell, we sponsor with systems in place. The four S's are left. Don't forget the four things that I work on. I'm going to share with you right now. And number five, develop a mindset and stop procrastinating. Sorry, I'm looking on all my notes. I don't want to miss a thing. So, stop procrastinating, right? Just do it. Rip that band-aid off and just do it. Ooh, take a little sip of water here. Are you guys liking this? I had no idea it was going to come on and uh, preach a little bit, but I was just so passionate about this topic. Um, so my customer follow-up blog. I'm going to drop these files. Again, you don't have to do what I do. Do what works for you. Maybe this does. Okay, so this is my follow-up blog, okay? And I have notes here so I can read to you. Um, so I had a website order come in. 
and this is what I did. So the customer's name is Ben Sherman. His phone number is, I wrote 111. I'm not going to give you his phone number. His email is Ben at Gmail, right? Hit the order date. Let's just say it was the 19th. Um, the order amount was $140. Okay, $140. That's the PRV. I always put that there. I don't put the total with the tax and all that and shipping. I put the PRV and I'll tell you why in a minute. Number two, next one says, did they join my VIP group? Hmm. Whether it's on Facebook, mine is on Project Broadcast. I always say, would you like to become a VIP? It's just a text message that I send, sometimes once or twice a week. And if it's something you're interested in, please hit me back. If not, completely ignore it. No big deal. And it does come from a separate number because Project Broadcast is that. Okay, um, so I make sure and explain that to them and ask them to be my VIP. Say, I appreciate your business. Um, you don't know the difference of, of what that makes. Every sale count and every sale matters and I'm really thankful for you. Always be genuine and thankful. The next one is, um, did I have a joint conversation? Hmm. Listen to this. And as it goes better, thank you notes. Okay, so for the thank you, I wrote right here. And this is exactly what I do on my thank yous. The second they order from my website, I send them a thank you text or an email thanking them for going to my website and placing an order. But number two, what I do is I set an alarm in my phone. See how I use paper and digital? Set an alarm in my phone, call Ben Sherman to check on his order, right? And that's what I do. So that's gonna say two weeks from then, after the flash sale, I kind of have a lot to follow up in two weeks. But hey, everybody that ordered, I'm gonna send them a text or a message and, and um, Ask them to share. Ask them what their experience is in the product. Not just, did you get your product? Do you like it? What sense have you warmed? What, you know, look at their order too. When you follow up, really be intentional. That's a great conversation to have. Say, oh, you picked Blue Grotto. That is my favorite scent. And then you're connecting with them on another level. Sometimes I can tell them why I love Blue Grotto or why I love the scent, what it smells like, where they placed it. Ask them to snap a picture and tag you on social media. Oh, wait, the business keeps going, right? They're going to tag you. Oh, I don't think I got your Instagram. Okay, let me give that to you. OCScentQueen.com forward slash Instagram. Boom. Tag me on Instagram. If you do, and, and soon, now that you've got your order, happy mail is coming. I'm so appreciative of each and every customer that follows up, blah, 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 and advice from my website. Anyway, um, so two week mark, I definitely set an alarm to remind them, okay? Because we used to have Amy and we don't anymore. Thank you mail, mm -hmm. that's towards the two week mark too. You don't want to send a thank you mail when they haven't received their orders yet. Um, the next one is my very favorite. Look at this little arrow right there. It says commission potential. Oh, that part of your join conversation. Are you hearing me? Ben, did you know you would have made $28 on that order? You could have either become a customer and got a refund back on your purchase or um, have a great gift idea for the entire year. You can definitely just do gifts. And also, keep your home smelling great in your car, in your office, everything smelling lovely at a better price. Would you like to join my team? You could have made $28. So that's really a good one too. The commission potential. And the last, I always ask, you love that scent? Would you like to add scent to club and get it forever? Boom, every time. So there's my follow up. Pre-orders, pretty self-explanatory. We have so many LTOs, so many things that drop. You should see my pre-order list already for Go Go Mango. I've been blowing it up in my stories. If you're not doing stories, that's really, really, really where it's at. They're fun, they're interactive, and people love to follow. I feel like, do you look more at the little bubbles going across the stuff or the news feed, right? And the last thing is my dream team list. Call me crazy, but I always have a list of names that next time I have a kid that's yeah, used social media, yes, utilize the social media, 100%, Christy. Um, I always have my dream team list of people every time I have a kit 
that can be given away, right? I can give that gift of the opportunity, that special gift, that present of Sensi. So my dream team list is a list of people that I've talked to about the business that didn't tell me no yet. They're still maybes or someone that I think has ordered quite a bit and I could go back. So I always have a dream team list. So you saw my systems, they're pretty simple. Guys, it's a new year, a new mindset. How you determine this year starts right here. I believe in you. I believe in your heart and your mind and your body and your soul and your spirit. You got to believe in yourself. I stand behind our products. We love Sensi. I've been doing this 13 years and I'm still just as excited. If you see the wall behind me, it used to be my Facebook wall. Now it's just a bunch of my favorite items all in these little cubicles. I've got the mermaid warmer. I've got um, Life is Beautiful, the little letterboard warmer. I've got the mermaid buddy. I've got the castle. I've got the Cinderella carriage. I have my all-time favorite little gnome warmer. Just fun things. This is something. When you get people to your home, you need to share with them what your Scentsy home looks like. It's really an amazing thing. So, whew, we know we're going to work smarter, not harder. We know five ways to do it. We are going to share, sell, sponsor with systems in place, the four S's. And we are going to rock this year. Make 2023 be your unstoppable, unshakable, unhurtable. <laughs> Is that even a word? Probably not. I just, Wendy, you new guys just made that up. Be unstoppable, be unshakable, and just don't underestimate yourself. Dream big, set goals, and let's work hard. Let's work hard together because I work hard, guys. And it, I'm going to tell you, I have big success, but I work for it every single day. Hmm. You are the sweetest. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am going to drop these files right here. And as soon as I hit post to this, this little um, feed that I just did, this little training, I'm going to put the files right inside there. So from my heart to yours, this is Wendy Heath Newgas saying good night and let's hear the best news. When I see you at SFO or the next time I see you, I want you to tell me about your success. Bye guys. Love you.